All right, guys, this will be the last video for today. Um, okay, so I, I'm meeting a lot of a lot of new people. I'm dealing with a lot of new uh, entertainment uh, heads of different labels and, and studios. I'm, I'm just, like I said, I have the golden ticket. I have, you know, I can get them into baseball games. Over here, baseball is huge. It's like the number one sport. So, you know, when the playoffs are here, I whoever had extra tickets, I would give them to, you know, people in power to say, you know, offer them tickets to the, come see the Japan series or whatever. And, you know, they, they just loved me. So I would get invited to a lot of these, like, uh, these VIP parties, like, you know, studio parties, Warner, Universal, Fox, Sony, uh, music labels. It, it didn't matter. I mean, if there was a big party, I would get invited because, you know, I'm the middle guy. If you want to get to the players, you know, you know, so, and plus, I also help these guys out with their talent as well. So one time I got an invitation to come to this one, you know, VIP party. I think uh, there was a new president or then somebody was changing. They just, you know, to greeting to Japan. So I'm there and it's a, it's, it's a nice party at this hotel. And I really don't like these kind of get togethers. I don't, I mean, it's just like a salesman competition, like who can do what for who. And I just didn't like it. I just, I didn't feel that I needed to sell myself to that to all these people i i knew who i needed to know I, I can't just give away my keys so i was very cautious of people i dealt with so me and chris which the guy you saw before he's driver my driver we're there and we're just in the corner i'm eating chicken wings and they they, they had like chicken wings set out and usually these parties are just japanese food but for whatever reason they had chicken wings so we're just back there scrumping on some chicken wings and just just devouring these things so this, this guy in a suit walks up, and he sees us back then. I'm wearing a T-shirt and jeans. Or maybe I had a collar shirt on. I was trying to be at least semi-presentable. And uh, the guy comes up to me, and he's like, so uh, what do you do? Okay, uh, at least ask me my name first or start a conversation about something. Hey, those chicken wings look good or something. Don't just come up and say, hey, what do you do? I already know where this is going. This whole thing is to – it's a pissing contest. So I just looked at him and said, oh, I'm an English teacher. And he's like, wow, an English teacher, what are you doing here? And I was like, I don't know. I just, I walked in and there was food. So trying to enjoy the party. And he was like, and he pats me on the back, kind of on the shoulder. And he was like, well, I hope that works out for you. Good luck. And he walked away. Okay, that's fine. I don't need to know no more about that guy than what I just found out. That was more than enough. I mean, I know exactly who he is, how he is what he's like, just first impression is everything. And if they don't know who you are, you, you learn a lot more from them. And I seen everything I needed to know about this guy. Let us just whatever. And, you know, Chris, of course, is like, you know, why didn't you just tell him? I was like, really, do I need him as a friend? I mean, is, is there, you know, do you want him to hang with this meat chicken? And he was like, he just laughed. And he was like, yeah, I, I, I see. I understand. So we, uh, I go up to the, the, the bar area where all the stuff laid out to get a couple more drinks. And, you know, there's people there I know. So I'm just saying hi to them. Let them know I came. Because usually I come, I show my face, 30 minutes, I fade out. That was always the system. So at least I, everybody needs to see me. All the people that I know, all the heads and all the managers and the, the VPs need to see me there so they can say, oh, he came, but I don't know where he went. He was here a second ago. That's just That was just my, my pattern. I probably just threw myself under the bus. Now everybody knows, but... So I, I go up there and I get a drink. I'm saying, hey, hey. And then there's these uh, two models are Miss Japan. I want to say they were Miss Japan, whatever, finalists or something. And I know them. You know, I've known them before. They come to these parties a lot. And so they're like, oh, Bachi, how are you? What are you doing? You know, I didn't know you were here and, you know, speaking in Japanese. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just in the corner, but I'll be leaving soon. And so they were the guy that talked to me earlier that patted me on the back. He was he was talking to him, of course, trying to hit on him. I'm sure telling him how he well, just bought a Rolex or whatever he was saying. So, you know, he was like, oh, you know the English teacher? And the girls, they're like, they, they look at me and they look at him like, e English teacher? What do you mean? And they, they speak, I mean, they speak pretty good English. And you're like, the English teacher? Yeah, I met him earlier. And they look at me like, what is he talking about, English teacher? In Japanese. You know, I was like, oh, it's a joke. Just don't worry about it. And they're like, oh, okay. And so he's like, oh, you speak Japanese. You know, must have been here for a while. Or you're not a good English teacher. Ha, 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 ha. And I was just like, this guy. All right, whatever. So I was just told the girls, have fun, enjoy. 
I'll be leaving soon. See you next time. So I go back to the table and I'm a little, I'm a little hot, you know, because the way he said that, you must not be good. I'm, I'm not an English teacher, but if I was, I'd be a good one. I mean, I have pride in anything I do. So I go back and I'm talking to Chris. And I was like, man, this, this asshole, you know, blah, blah, blah. So we're sitting there and then the, one of the head, the head of the studios come up and he was like, Bachi, thanks for coming. Sorry, I haven't been able to talk to you yet. I, uh, it's just been busy and, you know, with all this and this and this, I saw you over here and I know you're probably going to leave soon, but uh, there's somebody I want to introduce you to. He's a, he's a good friend of mine. He's new to Japan, loves baseball, been trying to go to a game and, you know, couldn't get tickets. And guess who walks up? Who, lo and behold, guess who walks up? And, you know, the president is waving him over and he walks up and he's like, well, let me introduce you to somebody. And uh, the guy was like, oh, I already met the English teacher. And, uh, president is like English teacher and his face is he just goes like this <sighs> uh, and he looks at me and he was like should I do I need to know and I was like no doesn't matter it, it, we we know each other well enough it's there's no more necess there's no more than this necessary and the president looks at me he's like this is the guy I've been telling you about the guy that I've been telling you, he's like, who, the English teacher? What do you mean you tell me about the guy in the baseball that takes care of the players, that's connected with all the teams, the guy that could take you on the field and get you, you know, down there. To, and he was like, well, why did he tell me he's an English teacher? Why didn't he tell me? And the, I looked at him and I said, you know exactly why I did. And this is exactly why I said it. Because I know exactly how you are, who you are, and what you're like. And, you know, the president's like, it's, it's just, okay, okay, you know, just, I'll, I'll talk to you later. And he kind of pushes him away. And he's like, Pachi, I'm so sorry. I was like, no, don't be sorry, but don't introduce me to people like that. That's, I don't need to know those kind of people. He's like, well, he's not, he's not a bad guy. So, yes, he is. Yes, he is. He, he, there is not, nothing good about the man. Well, how can you not see that? You saw how he was talking down to me just now. If you're bringing him to meet somebody, he should at least re respect you enough not to talk down to your friends. When he thought I was a nobody English teacher that snuck in here and still in chicken wings, then yeah, that's that's fine. But when he saw you talking to me and you know you saying you want to introduce, he should have showed you the respect by showing me the respect. He didn't. So of course, you know, President, I'm so sorry. And then the guy tried to come back and talk to me. I was like, no, there is nothing we need to talk about. I I will not help you. I will never help you. Well, I I run whatever bank, and I'm, I said, I don't care. You, I, I have my own bank. I mean, I use Japanese UFJ. I don't need anything to do with your bank. There's nothing you have that will support me or do anything for me just don't even worry about it and I think it upset him more that I wasn't willing to bend to his because he's the head of some bank some some Yugoslavian bank or whatever it was he was the head of I mean it didn't make any difference to me an asshole is an asshole so that's kind of the people you deal with that's kind of you know when you go to these parties you have to deal with these you know people I don't like to tell them what I do or what I was doing or who I was dealing with at the time because you want to see how people really are. And that's also something you never know. Maybe somebody you're talking to now hasn't told you really what they do. They're just trying to see how you act, you know, how you treat people, how you are. I do it all the time. When we go anywhere, I don't tell anybody what I do. I will make up I'm military. I'm a con contractor for the military. I'm an English teacher. I'm a, a computer programmer. I'm a game designer. Anything that when I'm talking to them for five seconds, I realize they have the least interest in this is what I am to see how they act. They treat me after that. And if they're, I mean, I have, there's one guy I did the same thing too. And he, we sat there and talked all night and we wound up being best friends. I mean, he's, we still work together a lot just because when well, the first impression, he didn't care that I was an English teacher or whatever. He was just, we were just, you know, he didn't want to be there. I didn't want to be there. And we became good friends. And uh, so that's kind of, that story, just, you never know who somebody really is, so just give them the benefit of the doubt, you know, wait a little bit, and then make up your mind after that, but first impression is always most important, and these kind of, uh, these kind of attitudes and personalities that you meet at these, you know, these parties and stuff, they get to you after a while, so that's my uh, first impression story, I guess to say, that's, this. you never know who somebody is. All right, thanks for watching. Enjoy.